for those of you that aren't on my Facebook, um, aren't Facebook friends with me, so you won't have seen the videos that I posted at the time, I'm just going to do a little video on the fires in the summer of 2023, um, end of July, July 25th, I think it was, on the Greek island of Corfu. We were very much caught up in those, um, and I will show you some video that I took during the fires in a few moments. The, I will apologise because... I didn't manage to actually get any real video of the fire itself in action. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that, and you'll you'll see in the video that we had to evacuate, we had to get out. I did return up here with permission from the fire brigade and the police during the fires to help out. But during the, um, the commotion and the kerfuffle and the sort of emotion of the whole thing, I just didn't take any video. There's some terrible stills I took, which I might include, or I might not, then they're not very good. But anyway very simply on um, i think it was july the 25th of this year um we had a big wildfire start a couple of miles away from us in a place called old perithia and we weren't too bothered until the wind changed direction well good morning everybody first of all um sam and i would like to thank everyone for uh, all of your unending messages it's staggering how many people have been in contact with us to see how we're doing um with the fires in Corfu. i'll keep this as brief as i can so up until yesterday last night things were looking very good and um, the wind was blowing away from us and the, the fire brigade had things more or less under control but this morning things have taken a bit of a turn for the worse we woke up there's ash everywhere and we can smell smoke it's really bad news because it means the wind has changed direction and it is now coming over towards us. So um, we've obviously tried to reply to everyone who has, um, who has messaged us so far. If we do not reply today, it's because we're a bit busy being worried. Um, don't know if we need to evacuate or not yet. Um, we're obviously not going to take any risks. So we are probably going to be offline because we've got things to worry about we're quite busy but see the smoke there it's, um, that's on the ridge behind us so the fire itself is now only about a mile or so away from our house so uh, we have to think very carefully about how long we stay here really good news is that we've got a Canada um, firefighting plane there's two helicopters up there various little ag planes um, lots of lots of fire brigade appliances working the problem days are better than the night because of course the aircraft can't fly at night so we're hopeful that with the um, the number of helicopter movements and the um, aircraft that we should they've got all day to to work on the problem but um, it's quite scary I'll be honest it's never been this close to home before quite literally so Thanks for your support. Um, if we don't answer, it's because we can't, but we're all right. If we end up dead, I'll post a message to tell you so everyone's aware of it. Here comes another helicopter. So, drama. We have been told to evacuate immediately. So we are. Um, the fire brigade shut off the power to the hill a few hours ago, so I've got a generator running to give us our internet. We're gonna close that off now. Turn the gas off. Got no electricity to turn off. It's like a movie, it really is. Right, it's generator. Off. Close a fuel valve, why not? This is, look at it. Honestly. It's like a film. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that we would be doing this? So we are getting out of Dodge right now. The kids are just finishing their lunch. Um, Sam's just grabbing some of her clothes. I've got a spare pair of pants. It's all I need. And we're, uh, we're out of here, so uh, catch you in a while. Weird.
It's not doing a lot of good, that um, pool full of water, so I did another short. I don't know if I'm going to um, publish it or not, but we've been evacuated. The fire has spread at an alarming rate, so we've been, we've been evacuated. Everybody in this area has been evacuated. The wife and the kids are safe, um, as am I, excuse me. <coughs> Although I find it difficult to breathe. Um, I've been allowed back up because I have a swimming pool and I have a small generator. I haven't got a pump. Would you believe that I can connect a hose to? I've got the pool pump, obviously. It's, uh, my God, it's, it's everywhere. Surrounded by fire. It's, um, it's just, ah, oh, it is a horror movie. A, a, it's apocalyptic sci-fi, can't think of the genre at the moment. It's absolutely devastating. It's very interesting as well, the way the fire spreads. I've been watching it. Um, we've, we've actually had fire around the house already. What seems to be happening is it burns all of the dry grass, which burns quite quickly. And if you're lucky, it doesn't set fire to the trees that are in it. And then you've kind of, once the grass is burnt, you've lost that conduit. So actually um, some of the fire doesn't spread into a major fire like you think it would but once the trees catch then you really you really are in trouble so we um, in terms of our villa we are absolutely in the lap of the gods right now I can hear it wow oh yeah And hear the crackling. Uh, fire brigade up and down the hill, there's guys with um, trucks coming up and down the hill with water tanks on the back and all sorts of little petrol operated pumps and goodness knows what. Here comes a tanker. So it's bad. It's really bad. Um, you know, the only thing I'll say is I'm going to stay here for as long as I can and do what I can to protect my house. I don't think there's anything I can do. If we get serious fire, the neighbour had, had fire in his garden and he was there with his garden hose extinguishing the... Um, what was that? Extinguishing the dry grass, which seemed effective. So I'm going to hang on here while I can, but it ain't going to be forever. That's for sure. Speak to you in a bit. Quick rundown of the timeline, the sequence of events. So as you've just seen from those clips, we woke up in the morning um, and ash had started to fall on us here, which is really bad news because it can only mean one thing and that is that the wind is now coming this way towards us. So we um, evacuated, we were given the order about just after lunch, so maybe one o'clock. We went down the hill um, to a very friendly couple who offered to let us use their kind of granny annex uh, myself, wife and two kids, so four of us, which was just unbelievably kind and generous of them and we will be eternally, eternally grateful for having somewhere to stay, having just um, been kicked out of our house. About maybe two o'clock um, I had a phone call saying could I come back up the hill because I have a swimming pool and a generator and of course the swimming pool is a great source of water for the fire services so I came back up. Um, that was I think the, the third clip being back up here then. I stayed here till about 8 p.m. Things were looking relatively calm and under control at that point and when I had some food, I was worn out. I'd been up since six in the morning, long day, thought that was it. And about 11 p.m. we had another phone call from our neighbor's daughter saying, the whole hill is on fire, get back up to your house. So at about 11 p.m. I came back up um, and I sat right here with uh, with one of the guys from the, the the house and a Greek chap who offered to help, and I sat right here. The three of us sat right here. There was one there, and there was me here, and there was another fellow just there. Bottle of water each, uh, face masks on. We had the old COVID-style face mask because we had to have something on because it was very smoky. And we watched the fire right there. Everything that's brown is burnt. 
So though the tree itself may still exist, the area around it is uh, very much burnt. All along the top there, all of that was on fire. That, however, was not all of it, because not only was it on fire on that hill there, if you take a look over the other side of the swimming pool, the other direction from the house, I'll show you, don't worry, we're going there now, you will see that the fire was not only on this side, it was also on that side. Again, anything in brown is where the fire was. You can see there, you know, it's sort of, that area particularly, it's stripped the trees as well. So the fire ran from there all the way up to there. There are only workshops in the way and you can't see it. But it wasn't just there. Oh no, it wasn't just there. It was here. See a burnt tree there. Um, it was a couple of weeks ago, so already, already the evidence is um, disappearing. But you can see all, it's blackened here. But we've got all the leaves have fallen down on top of it. So all of this was a flame, and all that was a flame. And this used to be long grass on this verge, and that's all gone because it was all on fire. And my house, it's just there. So it was on the road below my house, as well as on the hill above my house. And not only was it below the house and on the hill above the house, all the brown is burnt. If you can see, all the way down there, the brown trees, so it was all the way down there. And uh, this is Steve's house and this is Telus's house, my two neighbours. And it was on fire down there. So it was on fire pretty much everywhere you looked. And again, anything that's brown is burnt. So it was on fire below my house and round there and also up there. It was on fire. You can see that stripped, um, stripped the trees just there. And it was on fire right up there. So it was really really on fire everywhere. We were unbelievably lucky that we didn't suffer any damage to our property. Nothing. That's not true. We have a gazebo. We had a few burn holes in the top where hot ash had fallen on the gazebo. Didn't set fire to it though. <laughs> Unbelievably. Um, now we're three weeks down the line or thereabouts. You almost wouldn't know it happened. You really wouldn't. We've already got grass growing back up through the blackened earth. Um, the trees, particularly the ones that got hot, have shed their leaves and of course that's fallen all over the blackened ground so it's disguised all of that as well. So we were unbelievably lucky, but um, don't want to do that again. Don't want to do that again. And I will show you a little video later on, because I'm waiting for something to be delivered, that will show you how I intend for that not to happen again, or at least to be better prepared.